nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Hackman Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm excited to let you know that if you have an iPhone device that you're hoping to update to iOS 17, the official release date just got closer and the release candidate version has just been released. So this iOS 17 release candidate version that we have today tends to be the last beta before iOS 17 is released to the general public. The estimated ETA for the official release is next week, Monday, September 18. I'll be covering it here on the channel so definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss it out and if you have a newer iphone if you're getting the iphone 15 that has just been announced that is going to be supported and if you have an older iphone then ios 17 is going to be supported from the iphone se second gen going forward so that means iphone xr going forward and access devices to are supporting uh, are supported on iOS 17, but the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X will not be supporting iOS 17. Those two devices have been dropped, but the typical update size, in case you're curious to know, comes in somewhere between five gigs to eight gigs. There are some updates that become smaller for other users, depending on the device they are updating. They might see an update size of like four gigs, but average is between four to six gigs. If you're a public beta tester and you're happy with the current version of iOS that you are running right now, and you don't want to go on a beta that you are thinking might not be final. Yes, it does happen sometimes when we get these beta updates, they might be able to see like in room for improvements or some bugs and issues. And in that case, Apple tends to release like iOS 17 RC2, but in order for us to be able to tell, we need like three days and see if to be able to see if that's going to be the case. But typically the this RC that we got today is the one that tends to be final, but there are the old and ends that I thought I should let you know of. Now, when it comes to some of the changes that are being seen by different users that have updated to iOS 17 RC, the first one was well, if you go into your device and you make sure it's updated to the release candidate, a number of users are being greeted by the new hello screen, which is one that you typically see when you set up your device for the first time. But for different devices, I didn't get it myself, but it seems to be showing up accordingly and then also when it comes to some additional wallpapers i looked in the ios display and wallpaper settings but other than what we had before from the beta settings or the release of ios 17 beta 1 up to now there doesn't seem to be any new additions what we had seems to be the same and you can see here my device is a little bit slow upgrading or you know uploading some of the preloaded wallpapers right here but it could be that you know it's freshly installed but if i give it some time and after i've gone to it and then go back you can see they load up pretty fast and there's no issue here so i will be testing it out more fully you can see this one too took a bit longer it's the unity section let's see if the emoji section too right there it's taking a bit longer so keep an eye out for this but the existing wallpapers are still the same and then when it comes to the main features of ios if we go into the messages right here i was just chatting with tech hype and go to this new selector you can see the stickers are working as they are supposed to this is an image that i recently converted to a sticker and this is not crashing you can see i sent one of the apple vision pro headset and it didn't crash the device unlike what was there on some previous betas where the device would experience a panic and then crash and reboot the messages app so that is a good thing and it has been fixed and also like other preferences and services that are shared like their location and music are 
solid with this update that's a good thing the photos app you can see it's now being brought back to the photo icon which was there before and i've been testing that so far it seems to be solid now i do want to show you standby mode because there is a new splash screen that i saw with this update so let's go here and then connect our device right here and you need to have standby mode set to on and then you need to also connect your device to a charger and after a few seconds let's see how long it takes so yeah it took a bit of time but you can see the pop-up screen here for standby mode it tells you welcome to standby mode and you can view helpful widgets and showcase your favorite photos and this is a new setting that's here with ios 17 and you can see with this release it's working as it's intended to that's a nice new setup and then something i wanted to show you here has to do with maps i won't be opening maps but maps now has the ability to allow you to save a specific section for offline mode sometimes what i noticed with this beta update is that the sections that i would have saved were not always loading and i would have to re-download them but when i opened up maps that seems to have been fixed as a resolved issue and then when it comes to siri siri seems to be more responsive i don't want to trigger your devices so much hopefully you haven't updated your device so that if you are still on ios 16 by just saying siri you know i won't trigger your device but if you update to ios 17 and then you go into your settings and you go to where it says siri and and turn off this section where it says siri lessons for siri or hey siri then you'll be able to use the shortened phrase and you can see i just triggered it again so this seems to be fixed and it's no longer uh silent like what was there before and then what i wanted to show you here has to do with health so if you have an apple watch and then you go to the browse section and you go to where it says mental war being right there you can go down a little bit and you see we have new graphics for uh, mental well-being and it tells you why it's important and we have an updated screen here and you can take a questionnaire here and then be able to log in your mental health you can also do the associated settings and changes on your apple watch which is good and yeah as far as i've been testing it it seems to be good and uh, you can see what has been changed here and i can't wait for you to be able to test this out once you update when it comes to battery i do have a complaint but it seems to be an iphone 14 pro issue because a number of users as you might know by now have been experiencing degraded maximum health capacity so this is the iphone 14 pro the 256 gigs and i bought it brand new last year when it came out and exactly today it's one year since this device was released and you can see it's on 88 percent and i don't even cover ios 17 betas that much I just update my iPhone to iOS 17 beta so that I can update my watch and be able to test out the latest watchOS updates and already my battery health is on 88% so not holding up as good as I wanted it to be this is probably one of the worst devices when it comes to maximum health capacity and if this drops below 80 percent then apple recommends changing your battery out but other than that this is how this update is i will continue to test it out and see if there are any major issues or bugs that are found before the official release let me know what's your favorite feature as well about ios 17 and if you're going to be updating or not so stay safe guys and i'll see you in the next video peace I come to paralyze the leader red Rumors antagonize the dinner dates Some devastation from the paper pain I make the papa leader red I only meditate some kill it Vanilla don't spill the conscious steal the keys Once was affected I no longer breathe I'm wide awake and the atmosphere is solitary They sick and tired of waving city like the Navy We don't like to try to split conversations Flipping on the Bible page